just sit there, my friend. Jeez, stop messing around with the cameras, Lucas. <laughs> Brother, it is so, so, so good to see you. I know we had that great conversation last year, but to get a chance to see you, man, for it being so long, Brother, it is so good to see family, man. It is great to see you. Agreed, dude. Vice versa, man. It's been quite some time, man. It's yeah. been it's been way too long. And and hold on, man. Has the family expanded? Who do we got next to you here, man? This is a uh, dear friend and my guitar player, John D. John D. Yes. Good to good to meet you, man. I got a thousand and one questions for you now since oh. you're hanging out. You know, with the rock god over here, so. Well, there's probably only three answers to a thousand questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get back to you, man, in a second. Yes, no, and maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to get you. I'll try to get more out of you, man. I went to the school of Johnny Cochran, so I could probably get some answers out after you. <laughs> the glove fits. <laughs> Oh, man. Lucas, seriously, man, it is so good to see you, brother. How you been holding up since our last conversation? Because, I mean, as the world is still trying to deal with COVID-19 and, you know, we're all trying to get out of this, even as we talk today, man, some places are, are spiking back again, man. So who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, it, it's been crazy, uh, Rudy, like kind of reinventing the wheel when it comes to playing music and performing for people. And actually it being a just a satisfying which is that's the you know we we're trying to do the best on this like uh virtual show type thing mm -hmm. and uh, it's really been awesome to be honest man uh the fans have been really receptive and you know it's it's a it's a good time to like you can actually talk to people more than what like i love that yeah it's more interactive whereas like shows you're touring you play the show and then after the show you you gotta leave and go to the next gig but now you can actually be interactive and, and see what people are saying and listen to what you know what they're what they want to hear and like their perspective so it's it's a it's flushed out all the rock star shit it's become way more personable i think you know, the other thing I'm happy about, too, is the fact it's giving you more time for the family and your son. I've been seeing a ton of pictures of you posting of you and the little one, man. How are things going with that? Because he looks like he's having a ball with his dad going out and, you know, amusement parks and all the other fun stuff. It, it's awesome, dude. It's awesome. Like, he's growing up faster than I could ever imagine. You know, you hear people go like, oh, the kids grow up so fast. They do. Like grass, bro. They grow quick as sh you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you can say it, man. You can say it. Well, they grow up quick as fuck, man. <laughs> he's a good-looking kid, man. And man, he's gonna be something when he becomes a man. Because having a dad like you and all the experiences that you've gone through, man, he's got a great teacher on his side. And it sounds like, man, you've got a great dude next to you too. I want to know, man, how did you guys get to meet and you know and get this collaboration going? Whoa! I just asked a loaded question here. Yes, you did. Hey, no, oh, no, 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 not you. I want him to answer. He is. He's <laughs> okay, um, we're at the Whiskey A Go Go in LA. I don't know how many years ago. Less than 10? Yeah, less. And uh, he, played, he was playing a show, and I, I came from Nashville to LA for the show. And then uh, somebody tries to introduce us in the. Uh, he just says no. <laughs> right in front of my face. Yeah, like a friend was like, you like know, I, mean, I would like, like you to meet my friend man. John D. And he's like, <laughs> and I'm going to let Lucas finish the story. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Karma got me right in the butt. <laughs> so, so after I totally was uh, a teacher. And I didn't know it was like any, I just was not in the mood. It was like, I don't know, I get into the, these weird moods pre and post show and it's nothing personal or like egotistical. Okay, I'll take that back. It might be something around that. But I 
it was just wrong timing. Someone brought him up and they're like, hey, I'd like you to meet him. I went, no. <laughs> I mean, it's eyeballs to eyeballs. No. <laughs> and then I looked at him and I was like, oh, shit, that was, that was kind of, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But I didn't know, you know, it was so fast. So we're in uh, the rainbow and, and I'm sitting with like, like two hours later. Yeah. Two hours later. Okay. I'm sitting, I'm sitting with like a few dudes, like just, ju- just dudes. Okay. And, and I'm like, all right, this is cool. And then I look over and I see this guy over here with like eight women, like just, <laughs> you know, just they're like this bro, like P I M P like now what yo? <laughs> so I see I look over and I'm like hey John <laughs> <laughs> you know that's pretty much how yep exactly how it went uh, so 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 hold on so so after the introduction and everything else when was the decision made to actually start collaborating and what was the first collaboration like I gotta be honest man it, it it was right off the rip like i'm pretty personal and like uh i like i when i'm writing music i don't really like to work with other people unless they're on that same that same vibe not same level just same vibe mm-hmm. Big difference and he brought to the table a vibe that i was always so uh in love with but i never I never really sussed it out. Like, you know, that like old school stuff, like I think the, you know, like Chuck Berry and yeah, you know, like that stuff. Like, I've all, that's been my dream is like Elvis and like stuff like that. And uh, he, he just brought that, he brought that new, that new cream, you know? And I was like, all right. So we started recording and what everything that he had to offer um, musically, um, Lyrically, just it all matched. It was like we were kind of symbiotically just kind of living the same life. And uh, yeah, the rest is history, dude. It's- if he had agreed to meet me that night, this would have never happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, but here, here's, the, here's the thing, though, man. The eight women, it, this is what had to happen. This is the rock star lifestyle. This had to happen this way. You know, you know, <laughs> So hold on, so 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 the big big hit you had last year, the big song "Summertime." Yeah. Were you both part of that collaboration on that? I was in the video. He was in the video. He That's was, right. I think he was. Yeah, he was like against behind his truck or in front of his truck, looking all creepy and all. <laughs> Oh man, you know what? This sounds like this is a match made in heaven, rock and roll heaven. And I just love the fact that you guys are doing this. I know there's so many things I wanted to jump into, but let me just jump into right now because I saw a post go up that new music is coming up. I think it's called Clear, if I'm right. Um, And correct me if I'm wrong or whatever, but I did see a post. New music is supposed to be coming up. What is going on with you guys when it comes to new music? There will be new music, and there's also uh, kind of like a re. Uh, I just want to switch up everything. Once in a while, it's good to wash your hands of of uh, stuff that you you've done, and, and just kind of reinvent and, and try try new things. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's healthy. And uh, yeah, we have, there's new stuff at uh, Lucas Rossi Music, new Rossi Posse merch, and music's coming soon, um, and also personalized photos of John D in the shower, but wearing clothes. <laughs> could, could, but, but I'm going to go back to this again. Could you do the shower thing with the eight women though? That's what I asked him to do. <laughs> you know? Cause you realize something bad when people hear about this, you are becoming a legend just from this interview from a couple of minutes. Tell me something, man. Where did the love of music begin for you? Where did that all start before hooking up with Lucas? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Eddie Van Halen, David Lee Roth. Continue. <laughs> uh, 
obviously. What else? What uh, else, man? Uh, Prince, Michael Jackson, and probably Loverboy. Oh, throw up some Canadians back again in there. I like that. But did you always know, though, that this was the life that you wanted? And how did you go about? Because, of course, you probably were with, were you with other bands? Were you on your own? Like, how did that all progress for you? I've been in, I don't know how many bands. Uh, I've never been a solo artist. I've been mostly a hired gun, like, guitar player type person. Uh, but when I was 12 years old, mm -hmm. I met David Lee Roth. And uh, it changed my life, and I knew what I wanted to do. Wow. Did he? Did, can you talk a little bit about that experience in meeting him? Did he say yeah. something, or was it just the experience of oh, meeting him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in uh, Huntsville, Alabama, and uh, standing outside the arena, waiting, you know, just outside to go in. And then uh, I look across to the street, and all of a sudden, you know, I see David Lee Roth walking across like the interstate, kind of. <laughs> like spandex and you know a feather boa <laughs> and a cowboy hat, sunglasses, <laughs> and I'm like, wait a second, I'll be right back. <clears throat> <laughs> so you know, I walk up to uh, Mr. Roth and uh, say, "Welcome to Huntsville, Alabama," and he says. Well, it's great to be here, kid. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I was in Huntstown, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> That's epic. Oh my God! You story. Hey, you know what the best part is? You actually looked like him just for a second when he you does. did that. He Thank so you. does, dude. So before actually hooking up with Lucas, like days before, weeks before, what were you doing before this collaboration came together? Well, I've, I've had music projects going on off and on for the last, I don't want to say how many decades because I'm 79 years old. Plus two. Oh, yeah. And... Um, <laughs> I ain't believe in that, but go ahead. <laughs> you gotta moisturize. You gotta moisturize. Yeah. No, seriously, man. Are you serious? No, no, I'm not. No, I didn't think so because I'm gonna go. Whoa, somebody's got the fountain of youth. No, I know, no, no. I've been making records since I was fifteen. Wow. I'm not sure when I was twelve. And. Um, Played with a lot of people, a lot of people <clears throat> no one's heard of. Um, this is Duke. This is Duke. He's looking at him to see if he's like, he's like. <laughs> my, my first show I ever played was uh, when I was 12 uh, with the Almond Brothers. Wow. Dude. Opening. 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 Still, man, I mean, you sound like you, you said, man, it's. You're a rock warrior, you know. You've you've gone yeah. through the trenches. Um, I, I, I tell you that. But I'm just curious, though. Why did you want to approach Lucas? Good question. Um, well, I saw this uh, video on. Uh, I, is it MySpace? Or MySpace. <laughs> oh, no, I, YouTube. YouTube. Yes. And uh, it was about hello. Oh, and I man. heard this voice that I was like, man, if I could capture that in my own backyard, uh, that's what I want. So I got that. Uh, and so we've been together pretty much ever since. Yeah, we're like stepbrothers. Like, really, like the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen the movie. They came over about a year or two ago, hung out. We allowed them to. And uh, they just wanted to pick our brains, you know, copy our mannerisms. Yeah. Um, <laughs> brought them to the garage, showed them the real fucking deal. Yeah. Fucking. 
with a bunch of uh, took them out on this aqua lantern. <laughs> Oh my god, I wish I could be there when you guys are working together or it must be like an experience. Seriously, what is it like working with you two, working together, not just writing music, but getting ready for a show? What is that like? Well, that's uh, hectic. Yeah, it's super <laughs> stressful. Because uh, no one wears a watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're always, we're like, okay, what's the set list? And then we go... Wait a minute. Two minutes to go on. Yeah. We'll just like go somewhere else. <laughs> and then, you know, last minute, we end up doing shit like this, like just write it down. <laughs> you know, and that's just tentative shit, Rudy. Like, <laughs> like that, that ain't no like regimented fucking one after the other. So basically, we'll, if we end up getting a set list written down, mm. we any of it <laughs> oh my god okay Here, here's here's something i'm gonna love to ask here what is something from and both of you are gonna answer this so whoever wants to start can start what's something that we don't know about each of you that you both know about that you're willing to reveal to us oh shit <laughs> whoever wants to start go ahead Rude, that's a good oh, fucking oh, oh, question, oh, oh, dude. Hold on a second. Oh. <laughs> Call my lawyer. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It was a prank call. Uh, oh. who, whoever wants to start. Here's one thing I'm. Uh, you want me to tell something about. Him that nobody knows? Yeah, but you're willing to talk about. <laughs> Lucas hates ducks. Can't deal with them. They always look so angry. Um, ducks? Yeah, ducks, they, they, the birds. You know, especially the wood ones you have in someone's house, they just sit there. They're, yeah, decoys, they're like... <laughs> it's like they know something, and they're going to... Fuck you over in the end. <laughs> so, anyway, have you ever been anywhere where, you know, ducks have come by and he's freaked out or anything like that? I woke up one morning. <laughs> Johnny has a bunch in his house. They trip me out. <laughs> ducks. Fucking mosaics of ducks. And geese. He is worse. Sir, well, what were you going to say? One morning you woke up. One morning, and he had redecorated my entire house. He removed all of the ducks and geese and everything right. from the house. And I'm like, you're walking welcome. To the kitchen, and I'm like, where? where? <laughs> a pile of duck memorabilia just fucking mashed in a corner. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. You know what? I'm never going to look at Daffy and Donald the same ever again. You realize that, right? <laughs> I know. And he was like, I was like, why did you do this? And he goes, I don't like ducks. <laughs> I got attacked by a duck, okay? And I was, <laughs> it, was a, it was a goose. Whatever. A goose or a goose. But I was like, oh, fuck. That guy didn't get no, he didn't get no bread. All the other greedy duck things were like, <laughs> Grabbing all the shit, and I felt so bad. <laughs> when dude, and he was all like, <laughs> pointing to the ground and like sad. And then I gave to him, you know what he did? He fucking turned on me, dude. Like, <laughs> like angry, dude. Like he didn't. Like I ran. I tried to, to like, <laughs> fucking terrify me. Well, I jumped up on him. <laughs> At the, you know, he's at a park, so I'm monkey barring away from him, and he's underneath me going. Ah. <laughs> oh my god! Every time I see a duck, I'm gonna start laughing and thinking about you, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, brother, uh, it's your turn. Your turn. No, no, it's your turn. Your turn, Lucas. Your turn. What do you have on him? He's such a weirdo. I don't know if <laughs> you guys will get it out there. Okay. Weirdo world, but I'm going to think. Um, 
He likes ducks. <laughs> he does. He just outed me. <laughs> Wait a minute. You outed yourself when you said you had all those ducks at home. Look at <laughs> Gross. Oh. <laughs> I did not sign up for this. <laughs> Look how angry, look. <laughs> Did you fuck with that? It's a goose. Oh, my God. It actually, it looks like a swan to me, but if it's a duck, it's a duck. I don't know, man. Big duck. <laughs> what, what's the saying? If it walks like a duck, it sounds like a duck. Must Quacks like a duck. duck. Gotta be a duck. And like I said, man, you two have to be one of the most entertaining duos that I've gotten a chance to speak with in a long, long time. Lucas, I want to jump back over to you, man. How do you feel about where your career has come to with everything that you've gone through from Homeless, Rockstar, Supernova, your own solo career? How do you feel that you've kept yourself in the spotlight the way you have you've still created music the way you wanted it you've never followed trends ever from the day that i've met you you've always done it your way man how does it feel knowing that your success comes from true heart and true love of music you know total ego it feels, <laughs> it, 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 it feels good rude but at the same time you know um it's hard to stick to your guns and like truly do it, you know? And it's a, it's a win-win or it's a lose-lose at times. And at least I can go to bed knowing like, dude, I didn't try and be uh, like, sound like Nickelback. So I didn't try and be like Molly Cruz. I didn't try and be anything, you know? The only point is, man, we'll write music for other people to get shit off their chest. And shit, we can do it together, dude. Like. Reach one person. I told you that so many years ago, bro. That's all that matters, man. The rest is just formalities and egotistical uh, things you want. And I don't fucking want that shit. You know? You never have, man. Like I said, you've always done it the way you've always wanted to do it. With everything that's going on with you and things that are going on right now around the U.S. and Canada, things are slowly opening up. Some places are popping open. We did talk about the virtual stuff, but will you guys get back on the road soon? And if so, what's that going to look like? We actually do have a tour uh, coming up, which is pretty awesome. It's a little stressful to think about, like, you know, getting in a, you know, a bus again and all that. Because it's so different, really, like, yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, well, he doesn't have a driver's license, so I don't know how the bus... Thing that's gonna work wait, wait, is that true? No, I did. Oh, because I was about to say, did you just reveal something else? <laughs> but I did get my license, bro, at like 30 years old. Like, I was like, you know, I may want to rock like in a car one day. So it was a good choice. Good choice. So sorry, you were talking about the tour. So you're getting ready to do this? August, I think. Yeah. It's going to be so cool, man. So we're going to probably do like a, a month run and then uh, test the waters. Plus, we'll be doing uh, live streaming from those shows on stage. Oh, cool. So it'll be really cool to have like a double interactive and, yeah. you know, take the take the people at home on the road with us. And we'll get COVID for you guys. There you go. I think, to be honest with you, this whole virtual thing, like the way we're doing interviews right this moment and... The way you guys have been doing concerts, like a lot of other people have been doing in showcases, I don't think it's ever going to leave us. I think this is something that is going to be a standard now. So, And you guys are definitely, I feel like you guys are definitely ahead of the game because, Lucas, I've watched your shows, man, and they're amazing. So, you know, you guys, you guys are really taking to the steps that other people need to follow. But when it comes to following... Will you guys be following your asses up to Ontario and maybe back to Toronto at some point? Is there a thought in a year or so? Fuck yes. Nice. That's it. That's all I had to say. That's what you got. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, bro? 
when I it, roll into T dot, I'm coming to see you. I want to ask though, man, can I introduce you when you come to Toronto? That would be an honor, bro. You're what? a legend, bro. <laughs> I would love to do that, man. Nobody else here. Yeah, like, <laughs> just Rudy Blair, bro. That's it. <laughs> you know, I think up on stage, I'll, I'll just look at them like when I met Johnny. I go, no. <laughs> Hey, as we're wrapping this up, Lucas, I think I asked you this before. I'm going to go back again, man. Don't you think it's time now is to, you know, write your book, man, your autobiography, something, you know, that we can look back at everything you've gone through over the years. Because as much as, you know, you're out there and doing things, people still ask questions about, you know, who you are, what you've been doing, how you've grown and things like that. I, uh, you know what, Root, I... I will, uh, as soon as this chapter has uh, closed, you know, I don't want it to be like a, a reveal of like, oh, I want, yeah, I want to sell some shit. It's got to be right. And I, you know what? There's got to be a couple more entries before I can start writing this book because the shit ain't done yet, my brother. Oh, I hear you. My only fear is I don't want somebody else writing something before you write it because that's what tends to happen and the truth that? doesn't get... Don't worry about it. Oh, no. There's so much <laughs> content up here, dude. Oh, it's going to be a fucking dope book. I cannot wait, man. Look. A Sam Boney limousine. <laughs> we did. We oh, my God. I was gonna wrap this up, but no, I gotta hear this, man. What? <laughs> yeah, we 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 got a custom Zamboni limousine made. Um, all the rims have uh, Johnny's face just spinning on them. Oh my god! The interior is made out of all duck skin. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I cannot wait for this book. Hell, I can't wait for the freaking documentary, man, because that's going to be awesome. Look, hey, guys. Hey, when we're, when we're in town, we're going to pick you up in the Zamboni. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Gentlemen, thank you so much for making time. Look, thank you for introducing me to him, man. Oh. I can see why he's your, you know, your brother from another. Like, this guy, he's got it together. He's like you, dude. You just real as shit, and like you, no matter if you don't talk for a couple months, couple weeks, couple days, years, it's just like you never left, man. Those people you gotta hold on to in your life. The rest is fucking unsafe. Very true, and I always got super respect. Anybody who's got a purple rain T-shirt on, man, absolute respect on that. <laughs> Definitely, man. Shirt. I love it, man. I, I wish I had that version of it. Because that's the real thing, man. Guys, again, thank you so much for the interview. Looking forward to the music. I'll definitely keep checking out. Oh, where do we go again for folks who know when you're doing the live streams? Where do we go? Uh, Stageit.com. Fantastic. Every Friday and Saturday around 8 p.m. Central Standard. Lucas, always big love for you, man. Big love for both of you now. So you're part of the family, my friend. <laughs> nice to meet you. Rudy, man, love right. you, man. Call me for anything. I'm going to send you all the new music, man, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good, man. Looking forward to it. Woo! Rudy Blair, baby! <laughs> <laughs>